Hi everybody, community, welcome to a short uh, video today. Um, I want to recall something which we were talking about in the live session. The first live session I made um, was a guy who was asking me why do we have the pressure momentum and why do we have the continuity equation? So we have both equations in compressible solvers. So um, basically, I explained it in the wrong way because I thought he is thinking about pressure based algorithms and density based algorithms. Um, and after I rechecked the live stream, I realized that I, I was wrong. So that's also, you know, numerics are always interested. I'm always interested in something like this. And hence, I was checking it out. And I also got in contact with the developers in OpenFoam. So why we do have it like this. So I think an interesting answer. Um, so I will just show you what um, Rafik actually means. He was the guy who asked this question. And if we just check out compressible solvers so like row simple foam we have here if you go to the application directly row pimple foam we will see the standard include header however if we if we if we check out how the solver works we will get first um, a few things about you know here we have if the pimple still running and then we have you know things regarding um, dynamic mesh if we have um, pseudo transient so local time stepping um, with using local oil however the interesting part starts here when we have the pressure velocity coupling and you know commonly for incompressible solvers so the density is constant we 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 make like you know we construct the momentum matrix we don't have to solve it and then we use the pressure momentum coupling in order to correct the fluxes and then based on the correct fluxes we recalculate the, the velocity field and we do it actually here too because this is a pressure based algorithm that's that means nothing else that based on velocity and pressure um, we recalculate the fluxes in order to correct the fluxes and based on the correct fluxes we recalculate the velocity fields. and the question here now was as we have the density not constant it is a compressible solver um, we see that here okay this is just um, something for mesh stuff but we see here um, so if mesh steady which means if we have a steady state so if mesh is not steady, is written here, so steady will return. Do we have transient calculation? So for example, DDT is Euler or backward, or we have steady state analysis. And furthermore, if pimple is a simple row, this is something regarding thermodynamics, and if pimple first, pimple iteration. So if we don't use a simple row, if, if the, the analysis is transient and if we are in the first pimple iteration, we are including this file and the row equation is nothing else than the continuity equation. I will just show it to you. Um, we go to SRC to finite volume to CFD tools and then we have compressible and here we will find this row equation header file. And as you can see, this is nothing else than DDT rho plus divergence rho u is equal to zero. And what we have here in addition is like the FV option. So if you have source terms, okay, and then we solve this equation. So we solve actually the continuity at the beginning, then we construct the velocity matrix and solve it, then we uh, cal calculate or solve the energy equation, update the thermodynamics. That means here in the thermodynamics correct, we update also the density based on the temperature change with this uh, stuff and then we go to the pressure equation loop 
And if we um, go into the pressure equation, there's a lot of things written here, blah, blah, blah. Then uh, transonic and not transonic. So this here inside is the uh, pressure momentum coupling. Um, so we calculate, we build the pressure matrix and then we solve it. And at the end, if we have, you know, the final stuff, we correct the fluxes based on what we get out with the pressure equation. So we get our new fee. However, there's one thing I'm not understanding. If we have a steady state case, uh, we, we include here the incompressible continuity errors. So I'm not sure why we are not including here the compressible continuity errors. Um, maybe based on, I don't know, um, sound waves which are not occurring here in steady state or which are just to, can be neglected. Um, I'm not sure. So if you know it, please leave a comment here and I can uh, give this back to the community. However, now the interesting part is, is coming because if we, we have, you know, a transient calculation, so we, we correct the density again based on, on yes, uh, this new C and P stuff, uh, blah, blah, blah. But then we also include again the, the continuity equation. And this was, was the question, um, why? Because commonly if we have here uh, the, the pressure momentum coupling, everything should be fine. So the question was why we have still here the row equation included. So, and then after I checked it, it was also a bit, you know, um, phew, I don't actually don't know. However, then um, I was thinking about if we have a source term, you know, in, in terms of um, in, in, with the FE options, you add a source term, a mass source term, this will act actually in the, in the continuity equation, right? So um, rho zero dt plus divergence rho u is not equal zero anymore because we have somewhere a source term. It is equal to some source term. And if we are in the piezo loop, um, I'm not sure if any case, so we, we use this, but if you're thinking about pimple iteration, which would mean that we, we start, you know, the loop and then we make like this pimple iteration to converge all the explicit parts, we will have, if we go to this um, row pimple foam dot C, we will here, this is the pimple loop, we will execute this guy just once as here it is written pimple iteration first pimple iteration so if we in the second pimple iteration or the third pimple iteration we will not go into this header file so we will not update the, the source term in the continuity equation whenever it for example it is related the source term is related to the solution itself it can be right so, um, so we are not updating it here. However, um, having it here included in this row equation, we will still update also the source term in terms of um, the con in the, in, inside the continuity equation. And I believe, so I'm not 100% sure about that, but I believe you can, you can just comment this guy out and it, it should work. But I'm not sure if this will, you know, be in terms of um, numerics and stability. That if we include this guy here, the continuity equation, and we update the um, the continuity equation in terms of adding the source term, which can vary, you know. And um, if it's a constant, it's not a big deal. But if this uh, so mass um, source term in the continuity will change with respect to the solution, so the, the surrounding flow. Um, you also include and update the density here, which will then be added or updated in the next pimple iteration in the um, velocity field, in the um, energy field, and then in the pressure field, right? So this is what I believe that that's the reason why we have this guy here. If we don't have it here, 
um, we will still find the solution, but it will not be. It is more stiff. And then after I checked it a bit more, I was a bit worried about this statement because, um, you know, we have here the pressure equation and what we have here added is like, you know, CP root dot name. So actually when we have a source term, um, we, the source term and the pressure equation has to be named rho. Um, if I get this correctly here, um, which will be the same, the same source term then somehow as we have it here in the row equation. So I'm not sure if this implementation is here 100% correct. Um, I have to, for that we, we will have to make some checks. But back to the question why we have pressure, momentum and the continuity equation here. My personal opinion is that's uh, because um, if you have any source term in the continuity equation, you will not update this guy within the pimple iteration. So you make it first. We will just um, do it like this. So we will make it first here. And then when we make this pimple iteration, uh, it will not be updated in, in, the, in the row or for the density. For the pressure equation, it should be included here, as we could see it here, as we have it here. If this is 100% correct, I'm not sure, but which will, um, you know, give my statement and my feeling based on related to this, um, um, more, yeah. How, how would you say it to the, um, that it is correct what I'm saying, um. We we could um, go to. I was also checking, you know, the the GitHub um, from the foundation, and I was checking for what was I'm checking row equation, and I found something. It was not this guy history um this is the row equation okay um i'm sorry i'm i'm lost right now i'm not 100% sure where i found this but um fv cfd so we are in src we go to finite volume, we go to CFD tools, to compressible, and then we have the row equation here. And when we check out the history, so actually this is the history of this row equation. Let's check out this one. This was nothing special here. I found something regarding sonic foam and Unfortunately, I cannot find it. So it was almost um, a bit ago. So I'm sorry that I cannot find it right now. But there was like, you know, standing that in Sonic Phone, um, that there were changes in the row equation based on, on uh, let, Tell me what I want to say um, based on um, stability and conservation. That everything is more conserved in, in regarding regarding the equations, and this is why I think uh, this is really the, the the idea behind that. Even though it it does make you know at the first glance it makes um, it's weird that we have the pressure momentum equation and the dense, uh, the continuity equation. Included. But you have to think about equations and implementing equations into source code or, or into a program is always something different. And at the end of this video, I want to let you know, I was uh, in contact with Henry Weller. Uh, so he is a core, a core um, developer in the foundation. And he told me that, you know, it is also 25 years of experience and this setup works
best here. Even though he told me if if I find something new or if I find some mistakes, and you know everywhere can be mistakes, even in commercial software, then um, I can make some tests and show that this is uh, more correct or more physical. So for example, using this incompressible um, continuity equation here, I'm not sure why we use this. Um, also that we um, have this row equation here. I think I I got it now, but you know I'm I can be on the on the wrong way too. So if you have any further idea, you can leave a comment here. Or for example, why we have here this CP row name? So this row name. So actually, if we have an FV options which states row, so we change something in row, it will be included here. Um, is this correct? Um, probably yes. Um, but you know, I was. Until now, I wanted to do that for two, three years. I had no time to to derive derive this um, pressure momentum coupling equation. So um, this equation is, except from all other equations, something that um, I know how it works, but not one hundred percent that I, I got it. So everything which is not in my book, I not which I not not derived myself. I'm a bit lost here. Um, nevertheless, um, this was like you know um, summary of that, and I hope that um, this information will clarify a few things. If everything what I told is right, if not, leave a comment here. Um, you can also make tests. You know, you can comment this guy out. Um, change here, what will happen if we have the compressible continuity errors here, um, what will happen if we have this row equation not included. Probably things like these are always related to the fact that um, um, if you have very stiff problems and the source terms depend on the solution and you have to make pimple iterations out of under relaxation sometimes. Um, yeah. In simple cases, you will not always find uh, the right solution, and this is, makes CFD programming sometimes very tricky. Um, therefore, um, now it's a video regarding something else, not open from usage. I hope it was interesting. Take care, guys, and keep following.